Oh, Jimmy! I'm really gutted. As well, I'd probably stop here as well. Recover as quick as possible. Just the getting in bit that hurt. There we are. Lace it up. Yay! Proper sort out in here. Mentally, I felt pretty shit. Oh, wow! And thank you, bikes, though. So, that's it. I'm, uh, I'm in quite a lot of pain, I'll be honest. I've definitely done my collarbone. I'm really gutted. Been an amazing weekend and just pushed a little bit too hard on that last one. Crank in the ground, as you will have seen. Um, really gutted because I think that's the rest of my season out. And I am currently in the back of my own van on my way back from the Malvins where this happened. Oh, Jimmy! You all right? You all right? So, I've yet to go to the doctors or the hospital, get an x-ray, but I'm pretty sure I've mashed my collarbone. And, uh, yeah, this video is about recovery and getting back on the bike and seeing how quick I can do it. So, step one, realising you're knackered, going to the hospital. Okay guys, we're on to day two now, or should I say day one of trying to get better. Um, very, very uncomfortable night's sleep last night. I'm in a lot more pain than I thought I would be. I dosed right up on the THC oil, thinking that would help, and it did help making me sleepy, but it also made me really paranoid, and um, I think it exa exaggerated the pain, so not a very nice night. Um, thinking about everything like money is my insurance usable you know did i claim to recently work the usual what we all think of and we're self-employed i live very sort of hand to mouth so a week off work can kill me um but now because my friend works at the hospital in a and e he said don't bother last night because it was sunday night of bank holiday we're going off 9 a.m minor emergencies opens Go and see what they say. This uh, collarbone's goosed. This arm hurts, quite difficult to lift it up. And all the middle of my back's all tightened up just from being lying down for too long. So uh, let's see what they do. Let's get off to Shrewsbury and uh, in the hands of the doctors. Been looked at by the triage and because I've got pain in my neck and tingling in my arms, I've got to have two x-rays, one on my shoulder and one on my neck, make sure I haven't damaged my neck. So that's the update. So uh, the x-ray has been done and um, yeah, broken collarbone, broken right through. Don't know why, but I can't see the x-ray. Uh, bit of concern on my neck where it's a bit, a bit sore at the back of my neck. They need to possibly x-ray that again, just make sure there's no spine damage, but I don't think there is. And then it's home and then come back here for some reason get on with the recovery. No bone. She's got a fracture there as well and probably stop here as well. Wow. Look better. So that's it. Back here in a couple of days to see whether I've got to have it plated. There's apparently a high chance of it being plated. I just need to get the ball rolling now with my insurance, with MTB insurance. Hopefully get some money really soon. Need to get a letter off them on Wednesday. So I'm back home now, we came via McDonald's and had one last crappy meal, sulking. Time to pick me, uh, pick me head up and sort myself out. I'm gonna get myself in the, in the ice bath every day now, like I was doing before. I'm gonna get fasting again, get eating healthy, do everything I can to recover as quick as possible and take you through this journey. Morning guys, we're on to day two now. Um, I did actually have Pretty good night's sleep last night. I was up and down a bit, but slept downstairs with the doggies. Trying to keep Colin from jumping up. But uh, I've got some codeine now, so in my own little bubble, which is quite nice. It still hurts, um, but not as much as it did the first night. So today kind of starts my own personal recovery. Things that I do to hopefully help, like the fasting, 
Um, so I won't be eating until I've had 16 hours fast. I'm going to get in the plunge pool if I can. Um, and I'm going to try and, in a bit, make myself busy getting things tidied up out of the van from the race. And I've been talking to a girl racer called Vasca uh, from the downhill scene. And she does therapy and she also has one of those mobile laser treatment thingies. So she's agreed once I've seen the surgeons tomorrow and I know what's, what's happening, she's agreed to uh, look after me. So, yeah, onwards and upwards. Can only get better now. Right, so not looking forward to trying to get in here. But I know... This will really aid the recovery. It's great for aches and pains. Great for mental health. Let's do it. Ah. Oh, Lent on the arm, man. Oh, clicky crunch. Oh, I'm fucking forgetting about it. Oh, it's not too bad, actually. Oh, it's just the getting in bit that hurt. Oh, five minutes. I don't usually shiver in it anymore, but... I'm guessing it's a mixture of the injury and maybe the codeine shivering like mad and the shivering hurts hurts the shoulder well, I'm determined to do five minutes morning we're on to Wednesday now three days after the crash it's hospital day thank god uh, I've sacked off the ice bath and the fasting because I did it yesterday and the shivering after the ice bath like made this crunch which is like the worst pain in the world ever and um i think with the fasting i think i just need to get plenty of food in me to get my bones to recover um so hopefully they're gonna be plating it because the pain is i'd say it is quite easily the most pain i've ever been in in my life I can't believe how painful it's but it's all right now but if i move it wrong oh my god so shrewsbury hospital hopefully get booked in um or they'll have me straight away for the plating uh everyone has been amazing all sponsors friends family even the doggies just been awesome with me everyone very understanding loads of mint messages also, uh, with my insurance, with MTB Insurance, I'll put a link to that in the video. Um, Helen, who is actually a racer, has been awesome as well. Really helpful with the process of uh, got to get the papers signed today and then hopefully get some dollar in to cover me for while I'm off work. So I'm currently in the fracture clinic, been seen by a like, physio lady who's now going to go and see the doctor and see if... Hopefully, they can push for plating. Let you know. Right, so back from the hospital. Uh, basically, they've given me a date for surgery. I feel like they kind of tried to talk me out of it, saying, um, you know, it, it'd be all right. You can leave it if you want. Um, and it sort of will grow back all right or recover all right. But all the people I spoke to, they said, get it done. Uh, especially Vasco said, you know, she knows a lot about this sort of stuff. Uh, and she said as soon as it's done, she'll get the laser treatment on it. So they've given me a day. It's two weeks time, which is pretty annoying. Uh, insurance wise, I think I'm going to get 1500 quid. And I'm going to get also options of upgrading my insurance. I might go for a bit more money. We'll see. Um, so, yeah, I've just got to bear with it, really. Pretty annoying. Like I say, I could leave it if I wanted to, but um, it could give me problems for the rest of my life if I don't get it plated. So I'm getting that done. So now I really need to get recovering. Um, I've done all the vlogs today for, oh, well, over the last few days for the Mulvans, so I'm up to date with that. Obviously, I'm vlogging all this. Todd's out riding and he's producing some things and he's got a bit of stuff in the pipeline to put together as well. And also on this vlog, I want to show you some of the stuff I'm doing to 
hopefully help me recover. I am going to get back in the ice pool and try and avoid that shivering so it doesn't hurt. They've also said to take off the uh, my sling. Don't use it as much and try and use my arm. So I'm going to try and do that. Just trying to get it moving and try and get better. So the journey begins now, really. Good morning. We're on to Thursday now, which is uh, five days after the accident. Vasca has had a cancellation today for the laser treatment. She told me to get back in the ice bath if I can cope with it. So, my wife Cassie's going to take me over to see her. Absolutely awful night's sleep last night. The thing that shocked me the most with this is just how much pain I'm in. Not all the time, but some of the time. Mostly when I try and sleep. Let's get over to Manchester. Vasca is doing all this near Manchester and you're a downhiller, aren't you? Yeah. I'm a good, good downhiller as well. I wanna be. Better, better than me. I'm not sure about that. Hopefully it'll keep you a little bit more comfortable. So that's the laser, it's like Austin Powers. <laughs> Million pound laser. <laughs> laser up. Yes. So after the laser treatment and a bit of muscle manipulation, um, definitely feels like it's freed off a bit. So I'll be going back to see Vasca in a couple of weeks once I've had the operation. Also, I will link her business in the description so you can check her out up near Manchester, well worth a visit. And check her out at the races as well. I'll, I'll link her Instagram. She's really lovely. Yeah. Back home now. This is every day. Glucu, Glucosamine, two of them, thousand mil. Good fats, fish oil from Lean Greens, one of them. Iron, that's because my iron used to be low. Blood test told me that. Same with them actually. Do you see? So that's like vitamin C. Also I have my powder, which I'll show you in a bit. Vitamin B12. <coughs> vitamin D3. A lot of people should know now what vitamin D is good for. But you know, there's not much sun about. Finally, Amber Boost. And that's the turmeric. So that's my morning routine every day. How are you? Well, last night was a bit of a breakthrough because uh, it was the first night that I haven't had any painkillers, which is awesome. So I'm off the, what are they called? Codeine. Off the codeine. So a full night without that and I slept okay. Obviously it's still sore, but it's loads better. So I reckon Vasca's work has definitely worked magic. Have you um, put anything on it this morning? Uh, nothing this morning. Because you look like you've got some bruising. I do I? Yeah, yeah. Well, that, it's meant to bring the bruising out, that, um, that laser. laser treatment. Yeah. So, as was Vasca's uh, advice, I can't think properly. Uh, I'm going to get back in the, in the cold water tub. Food wise, lots and lots of eggs. I'm going to be lots of meat. Lots of stuff that's going to help my body recover. No fasting, I've stopped doing the fasting. Vasca said it's not worth doing while I'm recovering. Need all the calories in as I can get. Oh. 
We're now on to exactly a week since I had the accident. Not wearing this as much now. Um, still wearing it a bit. Do uh, doctor said not to wear it much because you want the movement back. And I have got quite a lot more movement, a lot less pain. It's still sore and I've got pains in other parts where, you know, bits of your body don't know what is, what's going on with the way you're moving. Um, one week to go, just over a week till the operation. I've been like nailing, trying to nail the right foods. I'm now off the codeine, just taking the THC oil every night, uh, like dosing up at eight o'clock and then dosing again as I go to sleep so it gets me in the night and then I get sleep right through still very uncomfortable at night but we get in there and when I get home I'll show you what I've been doing at home keeping myself busy and also I'll show you this some of the stuff I've been eating to try and sort of battle this and stay healthy but for now it's a dog walk come on boys let's go So yesterday I got myself busy in here. Yesterday was like the first day that I decided to sort of pick my arse up and do something. Hence why my shoulder's aching a bit more today. So, what do you reckon? There was like a bit of a room there, storeroom, that's gone. I compiled all the race numbers together and put them on there. That's why my arm was hurting because I'll show you how I put them up. Say hello to our couple of friends there. Uh. Alright girls. So for each one I was having to put my arm up like that with the number in my hand, walk it up, hold it there and bang with the staple gun. It's a train. And then lift it down and all the high ones. There's probably 300 numbers there. So I've had a proper sort out in here. This is all the stuff here that's for sale. Talk about that on the upcoming vlog. I've got some ideas there. And yeah, all my fan wicks and bits and pieces and just, just better organise them. When uh, a couple more bikes come back in here, it's just going to be a nicer spot to use, to film in and to work on the bikes. So now I'm going to take you and show you a concoction of a, like a, a drink that I've been having, which hopefully helps out, not just with the recovery, but with uh, general health as an old git. Come on. Check girls. Right, so got all the ingredients here. Some of this is for recovery. Some of this is just something that I've started doing because I'm an old man and it'll help me uh, fight the aging, aging process. So first job, water. Not any water. If you can, use like bottled water or we have a um, thing here that's basically filters it, takes all the fluoride and crap out of it that comes in through your tap. Read up on that if you're interested. Only a little bit. Then, blueberries, blueberries, antioxidant, and we'll make it, as you'll see in a minute, it's super bitter, so this will make it a bit sweeter. Some of that in, bit of a handful. You look like you killed someone. Celtic sea salt, tiny little pinch. Basically that hydrates you through the day, stops you getting dehydrated as easily. One full banana. Banana's got loads of good stuff in it, I think. Magnesium, is it one of the best things potassium. in it? Potassium. Or even potassium. But uh, I think everyone knows that these are good for you. We have half a lemon. Now the lemon, this is something I've just started trying. My mate's been trying this and said it's incredible. As you get older, your prostate swells. And this happens to every bloke. And you have a chance of prostate cancer. Or it'll just stop you um, having as much control. So basically at night, you'll have more pisses at night. Or you won't have as much force behind your piss. My mate's been doing this a month and he said he's got like a prostate like a bloody 20 year old now and it's amazing so there's that and obviously vitamin c in it talking of vitamin c we have thousand milligram vitamin c i have two scoops here which is two thousand that is pretty much a maximum your body can take without giving you shit that is great for your um 
So that's great for your immune system. Helps fight off things which you are more likely to get when your body is recovering. MSM, another powder. Uh, this is basically like joint care. Almost like lubing up your joints. Teeny little, teeny little one of them. No. And all this stuff's relatively cheap. Nothing here so far is expensive. Creatine. Creatine puts a little bit of water on your muscles, gives you a bit more, well, gives you a lot more strength actually. Um, I've been taking creatine for years now. This is great stuff for, for basically for your power. It's also a natural ingredient that the body produces. It's nothing weird. And finally, we have Lean Greens. Link in the description. All the vitamins and stuff I take, lots of them are lean greens. Uh, this is basically, it's the equivalent of having your five a day in one hit in a powder. So yeah, that's all your greens. Then, as they say in the jungle, let's mash it up. One of the things to remember with this, it's uh, obviously, it is quite bitter. It's not a bad, it's drinkable, but with all that bitterness, don't do what I did the other day and have something like I had a coffee straight afterwards with milk and it actually did make me sick. It, so it curdles in your stomach. So just wait a while till you have anything like creamy and uh, down the hatch, cheers. Morning guys, we're on to, uh, I think it's probably day 10, something like that. Uh, I've got, a, it's a week today now, my operation. So, pretty rough night last night. I was feeling loads better yesterday and I had loads more movement, a lot less pain. Then in the middle of the night, must have had some sort of dream where I lifted my arm or something out and, and where it has sort of, must have like, started healing it came apart oh my god the pain <laughs> so yeah heavily dosed up last night in the middle of the night just to try and get back to sleep but not too bad today uh, i've sussed out why the doctors do this thing with the two weeks it's pretty obvious really so they're always trying to save money for the nhs and kind of constantly try and put people off operations so they don't have to spend as much money so with this he said to me oh you can leave it if you want you don't have to have it operated on it it will sort of heal itself now i've spoke to loads of people now in the last sort of week or so who've done this or know people who've done this and every single one said the same thing get it plated or you'll regret it i've spoken to loads of people who didn't get it plated and they have loads of problems after that or it just like calcifies or it just heals in a weird position they get lack of movement more pain even some we've had to have it rebroken and plated like six months later um nobody who's had it plated has regretted having it plated they just said get the plates removed after a year so i think what they do is they tell you they, they leave it two weeks because then it starts healing and the pain starts going and then people go oh actually it's all right it's not that bad i'm not going to bother with the operation and that's what they tried with me it's not going to happen uh in the last three years i've really opened my eyes to the way that the sort of medical industry works and tries to save money etc so um call me paranoid whatever but yeah this operation has definitely been had um, um one week to go one other thing that's made me really think about being here doing bugger all which is even more annoying because this is like a really nice week it's like 30 degrees today um about the money obviously always skitsing about being skinned i've been selling off some mountain bike gear i'm gonna make another run of it with the merch site todd's been running it it's just kind of been ticking over and not really been doing much so i'm going to actually take the reins like i used to and make a proper go of it get some new designs done etc so keep your eye out for that i'm going to uh i'm going to be updating the whole pinned website yeah i want to uh 10 days since the accident uh, actually had a good night's sleep last night ish still woke up quite a lot of times but never took any of the nasty meds got through it which i'm happy with 
yesterday uh, mentally I felt pretty shit I'm having a bit bit ups and downs I just have to keep busy if I don't keep busy my head goes and I start feeling a bit crap um, but you know things to do got a um, a new gym opened up near Shrewsbury well it's in Shrewsbury on the retail park brand new and it's £12 a month so I went out there yesterday and joined that so my new regime now till I'm up and going on the bike is I'm gonna get up there and try and do an hour every day on the spin bike just to because I obviously I need to stay fit but mentally I need to stay strong and the only way I can do that is having a good bit of exercise every day because I can feel the sort of dark cloud creeping in if I don't do any exercise. So go and check out this new gym and uh, go do some sweating. There it is. Everybody welcome. doing the collarbone that's the most exercise I've done um, 50 minutes on the spin bike and five minutes of uh, intervals five minute calm cool down feel mint feel better than I felt the whole time so that's what you need to do get your endorphins up get some exercise on the go now I feel ready to face the day properly we are into the less than a week to go stage now uh, seven days six days till the operation uh, been out towards Oswald Street to walk the dogs and we're calling in where I have a little bit of a surprise where Bike Stow have sent a new rack out to our friends at Lee Morgan Artworks who've um, spread it up for me but I don't know what it's going to be like all I know is I wanted the Bike Stow Lee Morgan and pinned logos on it but that's all I know so it's quite exciting so I'm gonna go and get this. This will be kept in the van for, you know, storing the bikes, and then I'll have it out at some of the races when it's dry. Let's go and see them. So we are here. Uh, for those of you who remember, I shall refresh with some photos now, or maybe a bit of video. Logos on it, but that's all I know. Lee Morgan did our helmets last year, the Ions. This is the new bike stuff. Okay. Okay. Mystery reveal. No idea what it is, no? No, no, no so, idea. Did you see what t I've said to Todd? No. Fairy princess theme, no? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be right for you. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my God. I thought it was just going to be black with some bloody logos on it. That's incredible. <laughs> That's really cool. We, do, so, we never do anything simple, though, do we? So it's like sort of old school, a bit like ratty. What do they call it? It's like a rat look in it when it's yeah, like got yeah. rust and stuff. Oh, my God. That's so cool. That's incredible. But the tubes will look like tubes running in the back of the van, aren't they? Wow. Even though they're flatwood, obviously. And then on the back. Have oh. you even done the back? Yeah, you don't do half a job. Wow. That's amazing. That's so cool. Oh, cheers, dude. That's ace. Yeah. So when you obviously when you got in the van, you won't see the back, but when you're no. at. Um, Events or whatever, yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah, that's brilliant. It actually looks metal, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. Here we go, guys. It's fitted, got back home. It's a little, it's 50 mil wider than the other one, so I just had to cut a little section of it out there, otherwise, you're going to cut all this away, which would be the mare. Um, but yeah, look at that, look how lovely it fits. Absolutely buzzing with that. Thank you so much, Lee. That is amazing. And thank you, Bikes, though. Hey, folks, I hope you're finding this stuff interesting just to see how I'm getting on with the recovery. I'm going to be sort of interrupting Todd's vlogs with the, these vlogs of me sort of getting back to it. Um, I've had the operation since then, but I'll leave that for the next vlog, which I'll sandwich in somewhere between Todd's. Uh, thank you very much for watching this. Obviously, ask me any questions about this recovery. I'll be dead honest about it. I've had ups and downs. Um, I'm going to get through it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Click links in description where we've got the merch site. We've got bits and pieces going to be start to coming back in there. New stuff. And like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next one. 
keep it pinned. Ow! <laughs>